Well, hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having a glorious day. And I'm actually really happy to say that No Man's Sky is going well. Uh, you guys seem to be enjoying it. Um, and yeah, so any of you who are new that have found the channel through No Man's Sky, I mean, welcome. We do all sorts of stuff here on the channel and we're experimenting now with No Man's Sky and it's great. It's a really awesome game. And I'm I, I I I played way too much last episode. Between last episode and this episode, way too much time. I was like in the zone, and it made me actually get uh, late for my Minecraft series to go out. So yeah, uh, but we've made some progress. So you can see, you know, base is bigger and all that. And um, well, the teleporter's going, but you can see that that guy is empty. So I managed to make some solar panels up here and uh, there's two up there currently and I think it's great uh, I think it's working well there's two batteries up there as well um, but I have a, we made a discovery last episode that I wanted to uh, potentially show you so uh, we've got our ship right there and it's glorious and all that but looky there there she blows oh I'm so happy let's just get on over there faster thank you for telling me about this uh, punch flying uh, this is my bruise hunk of junk initiator and uh i got it working so i i thought it was going to be really difficult to get working but all of this red stuff it's also filled with a bunch of stuff that i don't know what to do with all this red stuff though not necessary for us to be able to fly it you actually just have to get the pulse engine the thrusters deflector and the photon cannon you really i think just have to get these two things and maybe this um but yeah you don't have to have all this red stuff fixed this is just like because the stuff is broken you have inventory slots that are taken up and so when you fix these you free up some of these inventory slots which is really cool and we have existing technology we can install as well already on the ship that would be really nice to have but not necessary right now but this is something I would love to be able to figure out. I know antimatter, that sounds like a really high level thing. So I don't really have any any idea how long that'll take me to get antimatter technology wise as well. This stuff is broken and stuff, but there's just so much more storage on this, I think, than our current one. And even if there's not, it's a cooler ship in my opinion. I would love to be able to change the colors, but uh, just the name has been changed, but it's uh, really cool. So. I am thrilled about that. And I also, you can see the solar panels there. And then there's some batteries. I just put two batteries up on top because I, I wanted them out of the way. I kept, I don't really like how the wiring works in this um, because it's like wires everywhere and I don't really know how to hide them. And if you even can, you can make them string all the way through stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I also have been exploring a ton and i have some really cool stuff to show you and i am so so excited because it's just bizarre i as i said i played way way too much so let's go through here to through this to the portal base which is interesting i i i've only teleported once and that was to get back here and i was just exploring and I was really just kind of going down, like looking at finding a lot of knowledge stones. Like I think I have 25 words now in the Corvax language. Um, and so that's really, that's been fun trying to just learn as much language as possible. So that's been really cool, but whoa. How's my ship there? Well, I guess this is where I left it, but how did it remember to keep it here? That's weird. Very strange, but this is where I ended up and uh, I was just following these things and then this thing came up and this is a giant portal. Visitation of Roke, Roke Dudak portal. And you had all of these different symbols that you had to like charge with things. And this happens. And from what I've gathered, because I really wasn't sure what it was and from just watching a couple videos and then also kind of determining from this like you get the planet's address which is this thing 
And I kind of figured that is like their way of doing a, a just like a number string for the planet you're on. And so this to me seems like a portal system between worlds, at least from what I can understand. Wait, is it nighttime because of, because we're on the other side of like the planet? That, okay, that would be kind of cool. Uh, let's, let's, uh, oh, there's two batteries over here. Why would I put two batteries over here? Oh, well, let's, let's put, uh, some, some carbon here. There we go. Just so we can get home. I, yeah, whatever. I don't know why the batteries are here, but let's get back to the base. Cause, uh, that's where I want to go. I want to stay at the base. And, uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually flying into space and exploring a little bit of space and going to the, I think we're going to be going to the, um, station or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I wanted to experiment around with that ship to see if like we could get it up and running and I'm really happy that we did. So hopefully, hopefully it can take us there. This is also the portal, this portaling takes quite a while. Oh yeah, because we were on, we were, what in the, excuse me, <laughs> that's so strange. What's going on? Okay, I don't know. How much inventory space do we got? So that's, we have one in there and we have two here. Okay, is there a way to make this? Dihydrogen and metal plating. Okay, we'll go ahead and make that because we may need this. But let's go ahead and get on, well, there's also something I wanted to check out because in our, yeah, in our guide, no, our log, we have the exosuit upgrade. Upgrade the exosuit, use signal booster to find a drop pod. The signal booster takes navigation data modules and locates buildings, special drop pod coordinates, tracks that. And so I'm not really sure. Oh, wait, the signal booster. I know what that is. That's in this area over here. And uh, pardon my really bad. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna run around. Pardon my uh, not wonderful base. It's literally a cube, but that's all I feel like doing right now. Okay, it's in this, I bet. Buildable technology. Is it this guy? The signal booster. Yes. So we need a metal plating. Not bad. And then we also need salvage data. Do we have that in our ship? Is that, uh, is that a thing in our ship? Uh, starship? It actually may be in our other one. Is that still over here? No, it's not. Okay, so let's call this guy. And let's go back to here. And we'll just plop you down right there. All right, what's in your inventory? Do you have that? Oh, okay, so we don't actually have any of those things. Okay, so yeah, this actually has less inventory space as well. It's smaller. Okay, we're gonna take this guy and we're just gonna ignore this. This, I'm just gonna go find stuff. We're gonna do this today, investigate the base computer archives. And so we need to go to the space station. And so that's gonna be cool. Ooh, there we go. And let's take off. Boop. And we're gonna go. And I think this one flies better. I really do. It is off planet. Let's just get on out of here and onward. Oh, this is actually better. I, I thank you for telling me about the um, different ways of doing the camera right here. And let's lock on in and go. We're gonna ride. Oh, it's actually not very far away at all. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like way further away. Okay, begin the docking approach. I am beginning the docking approach. Oh, do we just have to fly into this beam? Yes, indeed. Oh, that was trippy. It's so weird how in space you don't actually... The music is also going insane right now. But it's pretty weird how in the docking that docking system, you don't even like move. It like takes hold and like you can't do anything. All right, so we're gonna explore this space station. 
This is cool. Um... There are people up there. Find life forms to ask about this. Merchant. Hey, you don't speak Corvax, apparently. Though I cannot understand their babbling tongue, perhaps they would recognize a signal mentioned by the base computer. Ask about 16. A look of surprise crosses the life form's face and they release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signify our conversation is over. Okay, well. Any any Corvaxes up here? Because I, I know more about Corvaxes. Repository, Galactic Trade Terminal. Ah, are you a Corvax? Yes, you are, Traveler Entity. The Converge will know of this. The fact that I can understand this a little bit better is pretty good. The alien's elegant metallic shell springs to life as I approach. They study me, lights flashing. Perhaps they know something about the messages. Let's ask about it. A glazed look passes over the lifeform's visor. The number has had some strange effect on them. They seem reluctant to speak further. All right. Who are you? Mission agent. You will blah, 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 traveler. The metallic chattering pouring forth like words in a language I cannot understand. I understand some of it. Some of it. Let's repeat one six. We are watching you, traveler. Find what we have left. Oh, so these are words actually that we can't understand, but it's just giving it to us. Though a the alien speaks the words that are not their own, a string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Okay. Every system has a space station serving as its hub. Speaking to life forms aboard the station brings the chance to trade, learn words, or gain standing. Visit technology merchants to upgrade your ship and equipment. Visit the cartographer for directions to outposts and other buildings. Take missions from the mission agent to earn valuable rewards. Use the teleporter to instantly return to your base. Very cool. So who are you? Conscript Unity. I'm guessing I won't understand your words. Yeah, uh, request dialect helped. Draws themselves up, proud to be teaching their language. They present a selection of symbols, each presenting, representing a type of Viking word. I'm Vi Viking. Vi it sounds like Viking. Um, let's do trade. I've learned the word for give. Warrior. Interesting. Well, hello. Uh, you. As I approach, I hear an item drop to the floor. They very deliberately ignore the faint beeping that has begun to sound near their feet. Despite my lack of understanding, I sense I should do likewise. Likewise. Um, quest dialect help. Dramatic series of actions that represent words I might learn. Let's learn friendship. Help. Okay. I like this. This is a, a, a cool way. I think there's maybe three languages, three or four languages that you can learn, or at least that I've been exposed to. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I, blah, 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 life form, you. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Practice my language skills. Convergence entity appears to be preparing to take notes. I rack my brain for my most impressive Corvax vocabulary. Um... Helping. Okay. Electronic life form shakes their head. Matter of factly, this word indicates a request for assistance in the Corvax language, and Convergence Entity cannot or will not provide assistance. Okay. Let's talk to him again and see about um maybe doing uh doing this practice and then um oh hello, buddy. Uh let's do raid oh okay he's not inspired by this so what's his name what is his name convergence entity convergence entity okay maybe we'll use the word entity if that pops up again third time's the try unknown researcher um 
Well, let's do travelers because convergence, maybe? As though pain did their visor flash red for just a moment. Oof. How is it? Okay, my standing was decreased. Okay, never mind. Cartographer. What are you doing? Corvax looks up, swiftly scanning me, then reveals our catalog of maps and charts. Purchase a random map. Okay, Cartar cartographic entity, blah, 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 data. Out of the four of research. Um, let's ask for help. They point at a map on their screen, then towards a depiction of the waypoint towers found at most planetary sites. They seem to be requesting I gather data. Okay. That's a research entity guy again. There's a portal. Okay, so cool. We don't even have to fly back here anymore. We can simply just... Oh, are you a new... Are you a priest entity? Is not it this traveler I will. Circuits and wires. Let's, oh, let's offer this a gift. Accepts my gift with gratitude. Interesting. Would y'all let me know what exactly when I'm buying things? Or, ooh, this. I know I need this. 55,000? Priminy. Why is this so expensive? I do need this to be able to repair some stuff. Man, let's just get rid of this because I, I think that I think it's kind of useless right now. Um, and it's also in demand, so we can get a little bit better price for that. At least that's what I would understand it. Highly prized by all species, not least its own. This is in demand. I think I can get more of these. Yeah, okay, so seven of these. Let's get rid of those. Okay, so we have 60,000 now. That's cool. Um... Yeah, I don't even know. What what should we be selling? I'm going to get rid of the Jade Peas because I don't need them. Gek Relic. Popular with many traders who see it as this emblem of fair commerce and peace. Okay, so that's that could be something we gift to someone. And if we sell this... Okay, only 7,000. Interesting. Okay. I Yeah, I don't really know what to look for when it comes to that stuff. So what's down here? Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. Um, have I talked to you? I did talk to you. Have I talked to you? Warrior. And I talked to you. Okay, so there's stuff on the other side. Let's go there. Ooh. Is this like the shopping area? What are you? Your Corvax, which is nice. Scrap dealer. Corvax blanks the screen of their personal data pad as I approach. They seem to be attempting to look innocent if this electronic life forms are capable of such a thing. You have business here, traveler entity. You seek lost records, hidden data. Uh, let's see. What are you selling? Entity seeks new place to explore. Such places exist. They float from system to system. They can be revealed for a price. Um, let's see. Let's purchase some old scrap. Suspicious packet a suspicious looking parcel acquired via an unusual transaction the seller indicated it contains some sort of technology okay so you you don't really know whoa tainted metal what the what is tainted metal oh decal flesh helmet whoa this is cool um a wriggling companion okay so i i can't buy these i don't know what ain't it in this and selling stuff to him is not going to give me anything hmm i don't know what tainted metal is what is tainted metal that would be uh, wonderful to know technology merchant multi-tool research whoa what is this weapon terminal Ooh. well we have a pistol at least technology merchant St oh starship research oh is that my ship in the background Insolvable starship upgrades. Let's see. Purchase upgrade modules. Launch thrusters. Wait, this is so cheap. Why is it so cheap? 
Oh, nanites. Oh, different. Okay, hyperdrive, pulse engine. Honestly, this would be nice. Uh, photon cannon. Hyperdrive module. So an extremely powerful upgrade from the Starship launch thrusters. Use E to begin upgrade installation process. The module is flexible and exact upgrade statistics are unknown until installation is complete. Okay. Positron, a supremely powerful for the positron ejector. Hyperdrive, extremely powerful upgrade for the hyperdrive. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to hold off on that because I don't really know what's going on. I just want to check out what all these are. Whoa, what is this? Exocraft research. Oh, is this like dune buggies? I don't think I even have one. Yeah, I don't even have one. Okay, that's interesting. Can I buy one here? No, doesn't look like it. Rough. Or do you? Exosuit. Corvax entity with technology. Purchase upgrade modules. Ooh, movement module. A moderate upgrade from the exosuit. So it incre increases jetpack tank capacity, which would be really nice. Jetpack fuel efficiency and speed boost duration. Interesting. Thermal protection. Anything else? I kind of want the movement module. Moderate upgrade. Let's just buy it. Might as well. I mean, you know what? Exosuit upgrade. Let's see here. Okay. Let's upgrade the exosuit. Upgrade. Okay. So upgrade modules improve a specific technology you have already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules at each space station. Upgrade modules are ready made and require no crafting. Use nanites to buy upgrades from the space station. Each upgrade is unique. Check every space station for rare upgrades. Every core technology can support three upgrade modules. Oh. Okay. Um, go to the exosuit then. And install. Choose a slot and install this technology. Okay. Uh, I guess. Let's. Oh. Uh. Do that. Upgrade for the movement system. Okay, so the jetpack tanks, 104% recharge rate. Interesting. Oh, and then we. So we have this reroute technology to a new. Yeah, let's do that. Put you there and put you here. No idea what exactly I should be doing with that, but it's cool. Starship outfitting. Ooh, ship improvements. Drones deployed to target Starship Bruise hunk of junk initiator available operations upgrade class and or storage or melt ship into scrap. You can destroy your ship. Claim scrap worth is only $4 million. Dude, this is a $14 million ship when I upgrade it. Where to find upgrades? Use this outfitting station to increase the size of the Starship inventory or improve its base stats by upgrading its class. Upgrades to specific functions such as weapons or engines can be purchased from technology merchants. Drones deployed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's upgrade and see or see if we can. Oh, purchased unit. 21,000 units or upgrade the class. Purchase. Oh, 21 billion. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna leave it. Gonna not pay attention to that. And then what is this? Appearance. Ooh. Oh, this is what I was wanting, man. Yes. Oh my, are you kidding? I can be one of these weirdos? Oh, I should definitely be a Corvax. Because... No, I like the anomaly. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Did I just blink with those eyeballs? That's okay. That might be it. <laughs> Ooh. 
Dude, this is cool. Oh, I look like a scuba diver. Do I blink with those? No. I like this one just because I, yeah, I like that one. Uh, two, oh, I can, so I can be one, short and fat, thin and tall, uh, just not as broad, thin-ish, tall and built, tall and built. We're going to go tall and built because that sounds fun. Ooh, well, we got to go with the, the colors of the pixel should be probably blue and orange. Ah, and so that's the the eyeballs. I like those colors. So teal. What does the green look like? Ooh. Okay. Give me a moment. Oh yeah, look at us. All nice and orange. New helmet and stuff. I'm not sure how to, about the helmet, if I like it or not. But uh, I know I could use the tele... Okay, so it says the encoded message has been stored for later. When ready, use the teleport terminus to return to your base. Okay, so we'll we'll do that. We'll return to our base via the teleporter instead of actually doing anything else. Okay, so we're going to go here. Use the teleporter. And we can... Ah, okay, so let's go to Brutopia. Boom. And we're off. And I think once we interact, we just need to like check out our little area, our, our what's it called, our computer, that thing. And then we should be, should be good to continue on with this uh, little story. Sorry, I'm getting like the burps. Ugh. Ah, home again, home again. And I'm looking fly as ever. What is that sound? Why does that sound so awful? Okay, we need to go to our computer, it says. Begin decryption. Decoding. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. Okay. Life signs detected. What in the... Oh, that's the save thing. Reach, reach the decoded coordinates. Also, what is this little star? Oh, is this the save beacon? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's what it is. Like, what's the little star icon? But now I understand. Um... Where are the coordinates? Possible distress signal. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, guys, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I have been having a great time, and we are on our way. We visited the space station, got a new checked out gear, and we got a better jetpack. Oh, it does actually work a lot better. Does it make us faster? It is pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. All right. Well, cool. I am absolutely loving this game. I hope you guys are enjoying the content as well. It seems like you are. And so welcome again to any of you who are new. And I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Bye-bye. Uh,